What's going on YouTube? It's your man Tan from the Mars on Mass channel. Today I'm bringing you uh, Curiosity Rover Soul 582. This is a photo that was recently uploaded to the NASA site. Um, before I start, I do want to mention one big thing. As you can tell on the front of the screen there, you're going to see my cursor is extremely large. And I did that on purpose so you guys can see what I'm talking about better. I know that you guys don't mean to complain, but, you know, um, hey, if I was in your situation, I would probably do the same thing as well. I made my cursor bigger so you guys can see what I'm talking about much clearer. I understand that I've got a couple of complaints that, you know, you can't find the, the, the pointer, which is understandable, and that's why I corrected it. So that's the first thing I want to go ahead and get off my chest okay I did make it considerably bigger you we'll have to work with it a little bit because as it's bigger it doesn't pick up the right sensitivity and all that good junk but whatever I did that for you guys so there you go uh, like I said before this is so uh, curiosity soul 582 and I did make a couple of adjustments and um, I did copy my layer and I did add a blur to it a slight blur and then uh, I did a levels adjustment and exposure adjustment. But this is the way you're going to get it when you first see it. Okay, this is the way they, let me see. This is the way you're going to see it. I actually blurred it. So uh, the official links will be in the video's description, so don't worry about that. You guys don't have to go far to get this photo. But there are a lot of things in this photo that I do want to go over. And I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and speed through it as much as I can. All right, the first thing I did was I copied my layer and I blurred it. Okay, that's the first one, and then I actually go ahead and adjusted the levels, and then the exposure a bit. But we're not going to get to the exposure yet. I just want to go ahead and point out the uh, the obvious things, because see here how much clearer it looks. You can see it now. Let's go ahead and throw the levels up there. This would be before I blurred it. You could see all these NASA, these big pixels that they already go ahead and, you know, that that's what they do. Because, you know, they want to hide something. That's what they're going to do. So I go ahead and I blurred it this way. You can make some, you know, it does make a big difference. You can actually see what we're, what we're talking about here now. And zoom because I know you guys are on tablets and so forth. So the first anomaly I wanted to point out to you guys was this. This thing looks to be like a cone but it looks it looks like the top of an umbrella. I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm saying that's what it looks like because you do have some sort of support ribs or something there. You can see it here. You can see it here and you can see it here. But there looks to be something underneath it that I don't know. It looks like some sort of a cactus or something. But if you go ahead and take this off, you're going to see that there looks to be a little bit of bumps and bumps and bumps on it. So I don't know what that can be. The second anomaly I wanted to bring to your attention, you know, let's go ahead and give it a little bit of exposure. You can see this. This is what looks to be in the shape of like a pentagon. As you can see here, you got one side there, one here, 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 and on the back. And there's a lot of anomalies in here, and I want you guys to know that the official link always is always in the video's description, so this way you guys don't have to go far to get it. Um, I won't create a video without the official links. Um, that's just the way I do it. Another anomaly is right here. This kind of this thing kind of looks like a horseshoe, but um, that I don't know. That was just a little bit weird. I'm gonna go ahead and crank down that exposure and uh, see if we can work with. I'm gonna go ahead and give you some more levels. I'm gonna darken up my blacks. See when I make the pointer bigger, it actually messes with it. So you got to go ahead and work a little bit harder. But I'm doing this for you guys, so you guys should feel uh, you guys should feel good. Anyway, like I said, you could take a good look. There are a lot of anomalies on this photo. And this one right here and this one right here really struck my attention because it looks to be some sort of a device, possibly. Or, you know, it's just coming straight to a point, which I thought was really odd. And this thing, I don't know if this could be biological in, you know, whatever that may look like. But it, it looks like a, like a big cactus or something that comes up over here and it comes down on the other side. But it looks to have these little bumps on it which I thought was crazy. And over here, this this may sound nuts, but this looks to be biological as well because you look, if you can see, let me see how far I can get in there. There you go, nice and big for you guys. You can see this thing looks to have like, I don't know, this this would be a body. I would, like I said, this is all speculation. I don't know what these things are. This thing looks to have like a leg or something, but this looks to be like, you ever see those um, those Budweiser frogs that they got those big square heads or triangular heads, but uh, looks to be an arm here and looks to have another arm over there as well. But this is really interesting too, because you can see this thing looks like it's sitting on a platform of some sort, which I thought was really cool. And as you can see, the light is hitting it. This thing, I don't know. See, there looks to be like a streak or something. It looks to be like something is shining there. So I don't know. Don't quote me on that. 
but here on the bottom you have some sort of thing that looks to be flat in uh and it looks to have some sort of like a big bump on it or something. I'm not sure what that is, but guys, these are anomalies. And like we talked about plenty of times, this is Mars. What the hell is this stuff? And, you know, they're just strewn all over the place. And I just don't know what they are. Um, you can see here, there are a lot of rock material that um, this thing looks to be some sort of big something. I don't even know what that is. But these rocks, this thing looks like to have a, a some sort of a tube. But as you can see here, it looks to be like shining or some sort and pretty much you can just see a bunch of things here that uh, that look a little crazy but like I said the links will be in the videos description um, two anomalies that would be this one here it looks to be like a cone with like some ribbing on it and then um, this platform here it looks out of shape but like I said there are a lot of other anomalies in this photo that you guys can check out for yourself like this right here not actually sure what that is, but look at this thing. This thing looks like it to be standing up or something. And uh, let's see what else we got in here. There's a lot of stuff. So you guys, if you have you know Photoshop or any type of other software enhancing programs, you guys can check it out for yourself. And that's pretty much going to do it for me. I'm going to go ahead and zoom it out, give you a good uh, look at what we got here. And uh, like I said, there's this photo is loaded with them. You got that horseshoe anomaly there. You got this big thing right here that looks like to be an umbrella with the ribbing in it. You got this platform here, and there is just a lot in this photo. And like always, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave the official link in the video's description, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Oh, and let me know what you think of my new cursor. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.